Hi everyone, when I'm shooting video outside, I use a lavalier microphone clipped onto my shirt going into a Zoom H1 audio recorder and that's how I get better audio, especially if there's a lot of background noise. But I've run into a bit of a problem. This lavalier microphone comes from Rode and they advertise how this cable is so strong and it's Kevlar and everything like that and it's already broken which is kind of annoying. Um, but to be fair, it's partly due to this design and partly due to the way that I use my recorder because when I put it in my pocket it ends up sometimes putting stress on this connector here and that's actually where it's failed just where the cable goes in there you can probably see a little bit of metal there it looks like the shielding um, so I think the cable is actually being pulled out a little bit so while it does work sometimes if you move the cable it can cause it to stop working or it can cause massive spikes in the audio like you see there so it's basically not usable now because the slightest little movement can mean you're either going to get no audio or you're going to get huge static noises now the good thing is that this cable is actually replaceable they give you a little spanner and you can unscrew the cable and replace it. Um, actually, I had to buy this little 3.5mm jack separately. And because it's a proprietary system, it was super expensive. So everything about this microphone is expensive. And just replacing this cable here would be about £30, which is around 2,000 pesos. So even the cable itself is super expensive. So what I was thinking instead is to simply remove the 3.5mm jack cut the cable here and then solder on a new 3.5 mil connector so instead of having like the replaceable micron system it will just have a regular 3.5 mil jack soldered onto the end and at this point i've got nothing to lose because the cable can't be used anyway so i might as well try and cut it and solder on a new jack and just see if it works so i went to the hardware shop and bought a 3.5 mil jack and connected it to the microphone and it's actually working perfectly. You can see my levels here. If I bring the microphone to my mouth, hello, testing, testing, test. And as you can see there, I did join the channel, so I have left and right duplicated. Um, let me just show you inside this little adapter. This was really cheap, by the way, so very cheap to do yourself. As you can see, I did add some heat shrink tubing to the original wire just to make it a little bit thicker so that when I crimp this on, it doesn't damage the original wire. And yeah, just soldered it in place and that's it, it's working perfectly. So for anyone wondering, yes, you can just replace the jack and uh, continue to use your old Micon cable. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.